Hello and welcome back to Sparkle Me Pink. My name's Michelle and today I am filming a highly requested video and it is a year of Ipsy. And I'm so glad I got the Rosewood request. Like it's a good thing. Uh, it makes me happy to kind of hear that you guys want to see something. So I'm going to try my best to get this out as quickly as possible. So it took me a little while but I hunted down almost every single one of the products that I received in 2018 from my Ipsy Glam Bag, Glam Bag subscription. And I do get the monthly $10 subscription bag, but as well as starting in, what was it, September? I started getting the $25 a month plus bag. So let me know when it gets to be September. Was it September or October? One of them, if you'd be interested in seeing an Ipsy Plus a year of that. But yes, so let's get started. Oh, I wanna remind you, my birthday is coming up, which means I'm gonna be putting up my beauty birthday goodies video. So if you're watching this, even if it's not even the beginning of the year and it's your birthday month, be sure to head over to that video so you can sign up for those freebies. And now let's get into the bags. We're gonna go month by month. I'm gonna do like a quick little minute review and recap of the items, if I've used it, if I've enjoyed it, or if I've totally forgotten about it. I should probably show you the bags here. Here's a little wide shot of all 12 bags. Everything from December 2018 to January 2018. We're going to go one by one really quick. 60 second, hopefully, <laughs> reviews. And let's get started. Okay, so here we have the January 2018 bag. There was the NYX Lingerie Lip. And I want to say this was in the shade Satin Ribbon. I love this and it was in my purse for the longest time. And then the lip scrub has been in my drawer. I've used it a handful of times. I don't really remember if I love it, hate it. I guess it was just okay since I haven't thrown it away. And I do really like this absolute eyeshadow because I can use it as a one eyeshadow look. Let's see if I could do this one handed. It's a nice dry yet creamy. I don't know, it has an interesting texture to it. And I do really like the shade, so that was good. The thing is, I did pack away this nail polish and the contour palette because I have the full size of this contour palette from City Color. And I have tried this nail polish brand before. Um, it was okay, but I do have a color like this already in my collection. So I did pack these away for a giveaway. So stay tuned for that. All right, February 2018. We have a super cute bag. We have our double-ended Luxie brush, which you can see mine is super dirty and it gets quite a bit of use. I do like this very glowy, likey and gold Serafina blush, and it actually is a botanical blush, so I know it's like more natural and has really good ingredients. Then we have our Naked Cosmetics. This is a loose eyeshadow. I used this maybe a handful of times when I first got it, but honestly I have not pulled for it, and I really should. It's a nice neutral gold shade. This chapstick, which really didn't make sense to me then and still doesn't make sense to me now, to be getting it in February is Apple Harvest. So this is brand new unopened. And then I also have this unopened pure fully charged mascara. I feel like I've tried this, uh, but it's sealed and brand new. So those are also going to be going into the pile of giveaway stuff. All right, next up is March. And I was only able to find three items from March. We have this City Color Glow Duo. This actually is kept in my top shelf because I do really like using this on the inner corner and as a eyeshadow all around. I don't really use the cream shade. The eyeshadow was a loose bronzy tone. Honestly, I may have used this once or twice. Loose pigments aren't always my favorite. They're just not my go-to. They're really good usually and pigmented, but I don't pull for them a lot. They're not very convenient. Um, and then the bag, Sophia and her friends colored it. I thought that was really cute. Um, so this is hers. She let me borrow it for the video. And then we have our foaming cleanser. I pulled this out of my travel bag because I bring this with me when we go out of town because it's nice and gentle and it foams up really nicely and I do really like that. The two other items from March were a PM Meg Cosmetics mask, which I used, and I think it was okay. I don't really remember anything crazy special about it. And then the Tarte Sex Kit and Eyeliner, and I remember this broke, I want to say, if not during the video, the first time I tried it. So I no longer have. And April, which had a gorgeous bag. I absolutely love this. 
a super pretty blush that I've used quite a bit on and off throughout the year. The uh, title, Sunday Riley, I want to say I used this once and it kind of made my skin feel a little irritated. I don't know. I think it just might have something in there that my skin's not used to, especially because I'm acne prone. I use quite a bit of exfoliating chemical products on my skin, so my skin hates me. Uh, we have our banana powder, which was a little too dark for my skin tone. Uh, it was much better in the summer when I have a little bit of a tan. These tweezers, though, from the Vintage Company, I keep these on my top shelf. I travel with them. I love them for lash application and, of course, naturally tweezing. And then we have the Real Her lipstick in the shade, I want to say it was mauve. Yes, mauve. And this was really pretty. Um, I haven't worn it a ton but that's just because I get so many new things that it's kind of hard to reuse a bunch of stuff. But when I have things that I use quite a bit, you know you can count on that being a genuine favorite. This was just kind of like, okay, nothing crazy special about it. Next up is May, which also had a super cute bag with all these travel stamps. I love it so much. But we got one of my favorite soft matte lip creams from NYX. This is in the shade Abu Dhabi. And you can sheer it out and have a very natural look or you can kind of layer it up and have this very brown shade. I really like this. This is also a really great one eyeshadow look, um, like one color eyeshadow look. This is from the brand Butte Basics. So I really like this. Um, I haven't used it like a ton, but when I have had it, you know, out, I've used it like several times in the week, if that makes sense. Then we have this brush, which was a little bit rough. I have recently cleaned my brushes, so this one's really clean. But this is the Taper Blending Brush from Bean Gotchies. I don't know. It's not my favorite blending brush. It's a little, like I said, rougher than I would like it. I mean, it's not super scratchy. I definitely have a Morphe brush that is way more rough than this. So I do prefer this over that certain one. This is a full size of the Nelson Moisture Healing Mask. We got a deluxe sample size. I think I went through it. And used it up this stuff's okay it kind of leaves a weird fit, like greasy film on my hair so I have to make sure to rinse it out really 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 well but when I do rinse it out really well it makes my hair super super soft the one item that I'm missing from the May bag I could not find for the life of me is the Tarte Smooth Operator Amazonian Clay Finishing Powder I have this in a press powder I do like it it's all right um, I've had it for a really long time, but I cannot find the loose one. I have no idea what I did with it. I know I brought it with me on a trip. I wonder if I left it somewhere accidentally. Can we get a big high five and thumbs up for Sophia helping me out with picking all of these letters? She's digging through, helping me come up with the cute little sayings on there. And look at my messy room. On to June. And this was an amazing bag because... I pretty much went through this whole primer in like a month. This is a secondary one that I got from like an order and I just so happen to have it. This Caudalie Cream Creme Sorbet smells magical and I love it so much and this is almost empty. I really like this brush for using powders all over my face or even sometimes bronzer because it's so light and fluffy and it feels really good. And we also used it for Christmas cookies too if you saw that on my Instagram stories because it had the perfect cookie pressing base. <laughs> and then we have our Hannah Lee. This is for when my lips are super beyond dry. I will apply this and it does have a light mauve pink tint to it. This. This from Nomad. What is this even called? I don't even know the name of it. It's an illuminated highlighting powder in Midnight Sun. I use this as an inner corner highlight for my eyeshadow looks. I love this so much. I'm not sure if you could tell just how big of a dent I have in this, but I've used this so much. I travel with it. I've totally wiped off the name on the front here. And yeah, I really, really like this. This was a really great month. And July. So we have this really pretty blue nail polish. And this one I did open and use because I had never used this brand before. Um, it chipped on me after a few days. So it was just okay. And I don't really find myself pulling for it again. A Lord and Berry beautiful bright orange lip pencil. And I used this in a tutorial to do a look 
that was inspired by Demi Lovato. So check that out. I have that video up on here. And then we have this City Color Eyeshadow. These are so creamy and really great for an inner eye highlight. And then we have this like little spot acne kind of cream. And this has almond tea tree and witch hazel and lots of natural things. This was just okay. I mean, I get too many breakouts to kind of tell if that kind of works or not. And not the kind where a like acne cream actually helps it. I have more cystic acne. And then the missing item from the July bag is this Ico Skinny Travel Liquid Eyeliner in Carbon Black. I really don't remember this at all. And I wonder if I just, I don't know, gifted it away or I have it in a box somewhere. I could not find it in my collection and I really don't remember it. So I don't have much to say on that. Then we have August, which was kind of a weird bag. This creamy, like it was very, very gooey, creamy eyeshadow. I don't think I touched it since I did the unboxing video. And then we have the Oribe Matte Waves Texture Lotion. I just need to remember to use this the next time I curl my hair. I don't have curly hair. I just use a curling wand and curl it. And I keep forgetting to use this. And then we have this really pretty blush. Reminds me of the Likey one that we got earlier in the year but it's a little bit different and it's from Kaleido Cosmetics, but I do like it. It's a pretty color and one that I actually wear. The only thing that was kind of weird about this brush was the shape. It is super soft, it's from Crown Brushes, but it's almost too dense to pick up the blush. I feel like it would pack it on almost too heavily, so I don't really find myself pulling for this brush and I've cleaned it because I have tried to use it. I just don't use it as much as I would like to. Oh, and the one thing that we're missing from the month is this mascara from MAC. Does anybody remember what I did with this? I know I was super excited to get something from MAC in my bag, but I could not find it. So I wonder if it's with that tart thing, if I put together like a little travel bag and it's in there somewhere. And here we have the September bag, which I forgot how good this one was. We have the Morphe highlighter. This was in the shade Spark. Not my favorite tone, because then I think the next month I ended up getting the highlighter in the Plus box. This was in the shade Extra, and I very much more so, that didn't make sense. I prefer this one over that one <laughs> is where I'm going with that. They're very similar, but this one's a little bit darker and I like the lighter shade. And then we got this Deuce blush in this beautiful, very neutral, natural color. And then we got a bronzer. I wish this was magnetized. I need to stick a magnet on the bottom of it. Actually, speaking of which, this wasn't magnetized either. I put a magnet on the bottom of that so that I can put it in my little Deuce Douse kind of case. I have a highlighter and eyeshadows in there. So that's usually the home for that. And then I wish this was magnetized because I really like this shade. I just don't pull for it because it's in a very inconvenient, plastic, cheap little case. This was from Hannah Lee, which is the same brand as that lip balm a couple months back. We have Bella Pierre. Kind of forgot that I had this, but uh, I think I've swatched it. Uh, I'll be honest with you, but they do have a note, nice natural formula to them. Losing my voice a little bit here. And then we have this Joe Hansford Intensive Mask. As you can see, it's super gross and corroded because it was sitting in my shower. But it's almost empty. I've used it a couple times. It was fine. I do really enjoy the Briogeo Deep Conditioning Mask. So this has a lot to kind of live up to when it comes to that standard. All right. So now we got October. And I really do like this highlighter. It's a little bit lighter than one I received last year or maybe it was when I went to Generation Beauty. I have another IBY, but I really liked this highlighter. And then this MAC lip gloss, I actually just took out of my backpack from school. I like to keep it in there because it has a little bit of a tint. It's a little bit sticky, but that just means it's gonna last a little bit longer. And then we have another naked eyeshadow, just like the other one. I haven't really pulled for this, but this blush, Oh my gosh, I'm not sure if you could tell just how much I've used this, but it has a very similar consistency to the Super Shock eyeshadows from ColourPop, 
but it's in a blush form. But this blush is way better than all of the ColourPop ones that I personally have tried. I really like it. It's very soft. Use a stippling brush in here and just kind of like lightly smoosh it on the cheeks. And it looks like a really pretty glow. I should probably seal it back up before it dries out. And then we have this K Vogs lip balm. Um, I just put the box here, but I haven't even opened this. The seal is very much so still on this. So this is going to go in the giveaway pile. I put the brush over here too. I hope that's okay. I cleaned it. I'm not going to use this. Figured why not gift away to somebody who may very well enjoy it. And then November. So I have not opened up this brow pencil or used this Strictly Curls because again, I don't have curly hair. I just run a curling wand through it. I haven't used this powder either because I kind of forgot about it and it's just so tiny. Um, I just need to be better about that. But I have, as you can see, it's pretty much almost empty. There's definitely some wear and tear on this lip gloss. I love this as a topper. It is amazing. What shade is this? It's in Honey Sheen. If you can get your hands on this, like mini size or full size, you have to get it. I love it so much i keep this in my purse and then this eyeshadow i have used this quite a bit too i don't know if you could tell the dent in that this is great as an eyeliner smoking out the outer corner of the eye or under the lash line love that so much i really do love um the balm cosmetics i need to buy one of their eyeshadow palettes because i all have all these individual ones but no palette and lastly december so i just got this bag last week and I really haven't gotten a chance to play with anything thus far, but I figured I'd share it. Anyways, I love, love the bag so much. This smells amazing. Somehow this broke. I hadn't even touched it, I don't think, which is so sad because I wanted to gift this away. Um, and now I'm not going to be able to. The It Cosmetics Superhero. I feel like I like this, but then a part of me thinks that I didn't. So I think I'm going to hold on to this to try to review it again. And then I got the brush that broke from um, Farrah. And then one of my favorite highlighting brushes because I've received this before. I'm going to use this in my makeup artist kit. This is from SL Miss Glam and it's their highlighter brush. All right, so this is it. This is a year of Ipsy right here in front of you. Everything I got this year, minus maybe a couple things I couldn't find, but... Let me know what you think. Is this worth $120, this stuff right here? If you saw this in a bin, would you purchase it for $120? I mean, I don't regret it because I love getting new things every month and it's fun little things. But, I mean, the reality of it is, am I using most of this? Meh, about 70% of it. So, comment down below and let me know what you think. Kind of looking at it like this from an aerial view of the whole year. I get a lot of blushes and highlighters and I'm not too upset about that. Maybe I'd like to get some more bronzer. I think I only got two, but yeah, maybe some more eyeshadows or fun nude lip colors and things like that. But leave a comment down below if you enjoyed watching a video like this and the January video should be up about halfway through the month. So I do videos every single month unboxing my plus box as well as my Ipsy Glam bag. And yeah, I think that's about it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.